1 Paz 1 Sec Sahel Region, Northern Burkina Faso. 2 The sand burns hotter than asphalt. 3 The sky, pale and merciless, hangs like a curse. 4 Paz 1.5 Sec In the distance, a boy drags a jerry can across cracked clay. 5 His footsteps tracing a country's most precious currency, water. 6 But there is none. 7 Just heat, dust, and silence. 8 Pause 2 SEC Emphasis Then came the order. 9 Bury it. 10 Millions of gallons. 11 Not oil, not gold. 12 Salt water purified, treated, and injected deep beneath the dunes. 13 Gone. 14 Hidden on purpose. 15 To the outside world, it looked insane. 16 to the thirsty, it looked cruel. 17 but to Ibrahim Traor, president of a landlocked nation choking on drought, it was something else entirely. 18 it was war. 19 because in Burkina Faso, rain is not seasonal. 20 it's political. Section 2, crisis and drought. 21 less than 600 millimeters a year. 22 No ocean, no glacial source, no sympathy from the sky. 23 And every well becomes a front line. 24 Villagers against villagers. 25 Corporations against farmers. 26 Soldiers against despair. 27 One spill can kill a harvest. 28 One dry month can starve a region. 29 Pause 1 SEC So why hide water when the country bleeds for it 30? That's what baffled international observers. 31 But Traor was T playing by colonial logic. 32 His answer came not through speeches, but through pumps, pipelines, and sand. Section 3, Silent Reservoir Project. 33 Pause 1.5 SEC Emphasis It came through a directive marked Classified 44B. 34 A Sovereign Water Doctrine Written Not in Ink, But in Brine. 35 Project, Silent Reservoir. 36 Thousands of Barrels of Desalinated Water Buried Under Layers of Treated Sand. 37 Wrapped in Hydrophobic Membranes. 38 Protected from Evaporation theft, and war. 39 Monitored by AI systems built in Ouagadougou. 40 Powered by solar microgrids. 41 Invisible to satellite reconnaissance. 42 No IMF funds. 43 No UN blueprint. 44 No French contractors. 45 Only Burkina youth engineers under 30. 46 trained in Agra and Addis Ababa. 47 guided by a single doctrine, water is not charity. It is sovereignty. 48 the West called it wasteful. 49 reckless. 50 but Traor called it preparation. Section 4, Social and Human Impact. 51 he saw what the world ignored. 52 Water will soon cost more than oil. 53 Rivers will spark wars. 54 And the nations that buried water, not money, will rise. 55 Still, questions remain. 56 Is it accessible? 57 Who controls the valves? 58 Can a country facing famine afford to hide its lifeline? 59 And more urgently, what happens when the thirsty realize salvation is buried just beneath their feet 60? You don't see the crisis at first glance, but you feel it. 61 The taps cough. 62 Wells run dry. 63 In the north, villagers dig with bare hands for hours just to find a muddy sip. 64 In the south, cattle collapse along dried river beds, bones jutting through hide. 65. On the outskirts of Ouagadougou, mothers boil rainwater scraped from corrugated roofs if it rains at all. 66. And still, the mercury rises. 
Section 5, Strategic Sovereignty. 67 In 2025, Burkina Faso recorded less than 740 mm of rain its lowest in a decade. 68 Some provinces, like Udalan, and Tapo, barely scraped 500 mm. 69 Far below survival thresholds. 70 Crops failed. 71 Pastures turned to ash. 72 Kale rose spiked. 73 This ISNT just drought. 74 It's slow collapse. 75 And it's getting faster. 76 Decades of climate stress, desertification, and chaotic rainfall have pushed this landlocked nation to the edge. 77 The United Nations calls the Sahel one of the world's most climate vulnerable regions. 78 But for Burkina farmers, that's not a headline. It's breakfast. 79 No water means no food. 80 No food means no future. 81 Entire communities are vanishing. 82 Between 2018 and 2024, more than 1.6 million people were displaced. 83 Some by violence, but many by thirst. Section 6, Hydronet and Infrastructure. 84 In the dry corridor between Kaya, Fata, and Gorma, entire villages have emptied. 85 Their fields have withered. 86 Their children have stopped school to fetch water 20 kilometers away. 87 And urban centers aren't spared. 88 Ouagadougou's water treatment plants, dependent on surface runoff, operate at 30% below demand. 89 The capital's population has nearly doubled in 15 years, but its water infrastructure hasn't kept pace. 90 The result, rationing, unrest, black markets. 91 Burkina Faso, once self-sufficient in food staples, now relies on grain imports from Ghana, Benin, and beyond. 92 A geopolitical weakness Traor has repeatedly warned about. 93 If the rains continue to fail, the country risks becoming a permanent humanitarian zone, ruled by aid trucks and foreign contracts. 94 That s the nightmare Traor saw. 95 And that s why the water was buried. 96 Because he knew the math. 97 If Burkina Faso stays dependent on rainfall, it dies. 98 Not in one day, but in waves. 99 First crops. 100 Then livestock. 101 Then people. 102 Then hope. 103 He called it openly, the silent genocide of climate neglect. 104 And behind closed doors, officials used a different term, hydro exodus. 105 The mass displacement of millions, not by bombs, but by dust. 106 Not by warlords, but by weather. 107 So what do you do when the clouds betray you? 108 When rivers vanish and aquifers retreat? 109 You dig. 110 Not for oil, but for water. 111 and then you hide it from the storm. Section 7, Fossil Water and Strategic Policy. 112 because in the coming decades, the most powerful weapon a nation can hold may be a map of where the last clean water lies buried. 113 and what happens when other nations realize that Burkina Faso, one of the poorest countries on earth, may already be holding that map 114. Boom. 115 the pump hissed. 116 valves sealed. 117 water disappeared into the sand. 118, not lost. 119 stored. 120 not wasted. 121 preserved. 122 not forgotten. 123 weaponized. 
124 in the eyes of Ibrahim Traor, this was not engineering. 125 it was doctrine. 126 because to him, water isnt charity its sovereignty. Section 8, Urban and Refugee Systems. 127 no water in the sky. 128 no river on the map. 129 yet Burkina Faso irrigates fields in mid-January. 130 this is no miracle. 131 this is control. 132 the hydronet. 133 a national water grid. 134 silent. 135 buried. 136 invisible. 137 but alive. 138 fed by rain catchments. 139 charged by desalination plants. 140 reinforced by fossil reserves. 141 governed by central AI that allocates flow like a bank allocates credit. 142 sensors track soil moisture. 143 satellite feeds measure evapotranspiration. 144 village councils report usage in real time. 145 every drop counts. 146 every leak is flagged. 147 every surplus is stored. 148 this is sovereignty, digitized. Section 9, Closing Revolution. 149 across the Sahel, across Africa, the implications are clear. 150 if a small nation can engineer abundance in a desert, what excuse remains for the rest of us 151? Climate is not destiny. 152 science is not optional. 153 sovereignty is not negotiable. 154 Burkina Faso stands as proof, even the driest land can sustain life. 155 even the parched can engineer abundance. 156 even the future can be secured one drop at a time. 157 the revolution is quiet 158 but unstoppable 159 water is not charity 160 water is sovereignty 161 water is life 162 and it flows quietly unstoppable beneath the red clay of the Sahel for every child every farmer every city, every village. 163 a lifeline engineered by choice, vision, and courage.